Hi, I'm Leanne Thomas and I'm an artist. I've been doing art forever since I was a little kid and um, I've just always really loved color and I've also always really loved words and lately what I've been doing is using uh, the words of Rumi, the poet Rumi. I got permission from Coleman Barks to um, put his words in my art and so um, I write stuff on the paper and I've been working a lot in books like uh, books that I bought uh, for that purpose like used books and then I'll paint and stuff on top of it and the words will sort of dissolve and um, so you can't really read what's in there but I always think of that as part sort of a layer of the painting is the words and the meaning of the words because they're really beautiful so I put them on a little card next to the painting so people know what the words are even though you can't read it in the painting so um, so for me it's all about shapes and colors and lines and making marks and uh, sometimes people some artists they say um, they're sort of taking something from inside and expressing it in their art and whatever for me it's more like what happens when I play with the different media I do a lot of mixed media like different because I just love art supplies and um, so for me it's more like what happens and just being excited about the colors and making marks and it's not so much I'm expressing something as something is like happening on the page. I'm not really so much usually illustrating the words. I'm not really trying to draw a picture of it. It's more like just um, getting in that zone where I'm kind of listening to whatever wants to happen next and then just following that and just intuitively moving and choosing colors and um, it's a, like a kind of listening and um, Rumi talks about that. He talks about listening to the friend. He calls God the friend or the capital F, which I love. And um, he says, you know, when you forget your figuring and forget yourself, listen to your friend. When you become totally obedient to that one, you'll be free. So I'd say if you feel the urge to make art, then just go with it. And um, really the most important thing I could say about that is like, just try and love what you're doing. And it's going to look different than what anybody else does because you're doing it. And if all the great painters that have been the start of different movements had thought, this doesn't look like so-and-so, this must not be art, we wouldn't have half the art we have in the world. So just know that it's gonna look different than anything else you've seen. You may admire, I admire other people's art, but I'm not gonna be able to do it. But just do it and love it and keep loving it. And whatever comes easy to you as your gift, just keep going with what you love and, and you can make art, anybody can make art.